this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long reigning champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ready to go and show a lead for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mike Platinum Perry. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Do it. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are falling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Oh, nice right hand. Perry's kick attempt. That one was blocked. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. That was a hard body kick. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, big elbow. That's a beautiful body kick. Back and forth we go. High kick landed for him there. Perry's kick to the body, that one blocked. Back to the jab now, no good. 
Nice combination. Oh, that one landed. Yep. While fear is not a factor for this striker, coming out swinging early as we expected, everything being thrown with fight ending intent. He throws everything so hard, and he said to us, when we talked to him early in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I get taken down, long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting for. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, nice right in. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Nice jab. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Lee. Just misses with the left hook. Nice. Nicely done. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice kick. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. something into his face or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed and now you see the swelling starting. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, big elbow. Good shot, good shot. Nice combination by the champ. Less than a minute to go in the round. He's got him hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Nice counter left there. Now we're going. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a strike. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same. Man, he has a great double leg. Oh, my goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Oh. And a very close round. Hey, a down like that might be the difference. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy's fighting tonight. Oh, oh my.
my God, it's hurt. He's hurt. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Great timing on that double leg. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. And landed some nasty strikes. Finds his range with the jab. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Perry. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Takedown defense holds up. Back to his feet. I mean, that right hand landed square. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Nice kick. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off the side. You just can't take it clean. Really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Big right hand. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, he lands another strike. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're doing. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a contender for some bone fall. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, he closes the distance, oh, gets God. the single collar tie. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, take a seat. Deep breath, slow that heart rate. Awesome, your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative 
to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Back kick there. Oh, he lands yet another kick to the head. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Unable to connect with the right. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Nice kick there by Lee. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where every oh! cannot take too many of those. He went high on that one. Oh, huge left. in the engagement there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Throwing that jab, no good. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. So the blood really starting to flow every time that... Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Nice jab by Lee. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh! He's in trouble. is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Perry. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he has to try to chase down that fifth. Oh. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh, posture's up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Perry. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Body shot there. There's another one. Ooh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Take a seat for me, bud.
All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed you ready to, to put his opponent down. Ready. Go Fourth ahead. round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is the oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just a slip there. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, big left. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Harry's blocking well now, made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he didn't like that one. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's cut. Get the elbow. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Perry's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside physician. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Oh! Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen. He's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Under a minute now to go. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. And 
follows up with another one. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Big head kick. Oh, both. Both landed. He's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh. And there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Perry. Right now they separate. Well, he blocked that one. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot was what they call it to go and end the fight. Big right hand there. What a punch. Body kick lands. Well, at this point, he is black and blue all over. High level damage, and I wouldn't be surprised, actually, even though it's body damage, to see the ref call in the doctor. It's almost over. John, this fight's almost over. At any point now, they can stop. The doctor steps into the octagon. I believe this fight's going to be called off. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Swing and a miss by Perry. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job for you. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Big shot lands for both guys. Nice spinning kick there finds its home. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Stunned, trying to recover here. Big right hand. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Just misses with the right. as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corner's thinking about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not gonna win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow for this guy to continue forward after this fight? Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Takedown defense holds up. Lee's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut, so that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Oh, Superman punch lands. 90 seconds now to go in this one. 
with conviction to the body. Whiffs on that offering. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night, back and forth on both sides, and referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There is Both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this match. 45 seconds remain in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, beautiful hook by Lee. 30 seconds to go in this one. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. He missed with that jab attempt there. Official decision now in after the five offense. rounds. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Platinum. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the